Hey, welcome back to Triple R. We're going to take a look at the old WWF card game, Mr. Perfect vs. Ultimate Warrior. So, let's open it up, check it out, see how the rules go. You have the cards here, and draw your four. And when you run out of your, your discard pile, your pyre, you'll drop when you run out of your draw pile, you'll just reshuffle your discard pile. I'm gonna say Mr. Perfect. He's got a pretty good hand here. I'm gonna play at seven. Warrior. I'm gonna play a nine. Play a pin card. If your opponent discards instead of playing a higher takedown card or a break hold card. Your high-ranking high takedown card on the center of the player pile is unchallenged. Now you can play a pin on your turn. Okay. Alright, so this is where we started on the center. And he has three cards, we'll draw a new card. Warriors gonna play a nine, draw a new card. Now say Mr. Perfect doesn't have anything higher than a nine or a he doesn't have a break hold, we'll say he doesn't have a break hold. All he has is a one card. So he has to discard a card and draw a new card. He doesn't play. So that means the nine is unchallenged. So now the warrior can play one of his pin cards sideways. And we'll draw a new card. Goes back to Mr. Perfect. So I will play a takedown. But say for some reason. Let's see. So he just had a handful of pins. And he can't he can't play a card. Then on the next turn, if the warrior did have another pin card, he'd go ahead and play it. Probably rarely gonna happen. It's gonna be back and forth. So this probably be you know, like this. We'll draw. We're gonna start a new takedown struggle. Draw a card. Now it's on a nine. Warrior can trumpet. Draw a card. Goes back to Mr. Perfect. He can't play. He's got to decide to discard a pin or his nine card. He's going to discard his nine because, you know, the reshuffle. And he's going to draw a card. Back to Warrior. Another pin card. Now he has two pins on the stack. So he's going to the card. Can I get the referee? So pin card, he has an eight. Take down resumes, draws a card. Can you get an eight? He cannot be an eight. Just gonna discard this one and draw a card. Now he has a tag, so I'll explain in a minute. So again. So, so now Mr. Perfect can play one of his pin cards. So the color of Mr. Perfect is blue, warrior is orange. So we keep track of them. And he's going to draw a card. Back to Warrior. I'm going to play. Uh, I'm going to play his eight. Draw a card. Perfect. Green the two. This part is two. Warriors again unchallenged, but he needs a referee card. He has two pins, he needs a third the referee card to win the round. So on his turn, he can reveal the tag, take his hand, bottom of the deck, draw four new cards. Okay, so he didn't get the pin card. So he could play this illegal hold. 
in illegal holds. Stop one or more of your opponent's pin cards. So this doesn't really matter anymore. Because this negates that pin. Draw the card, that was a referee card. Those ones are perfect. He's like, oh man. He would play the 10, but for gaming purposes, we're gonna say. Well, no, let's play, we'll play the 10, that's fine. Play the 10. Draw this card. The warrior's not in challenge, so we can't play this. Let's just discard this. Draw another pin. Goes back to Mr. Perfect. It was unchallenged because the 10, and then again, put a pin down. Draw a card. Take down resumes. Or he's going to play that 9. Perfect. Can't beat a 9. Discard. We'll probably discard the 3. Draw this. Doesn't matter. Unchallenged. Back to Warrior. We should have drew a card. Plays a referee card. Right, so. Do we have two pins? He did. One, two, two pins, a referee card. Round ends. He gets three points for the round. And I believe you shuffle them all back up, do the same thing. So it's just a back and forth war type game. Which isn't. I mean, it's okay, it just has some pictures of wrestlers on there. Not much to do with wrestling. It's not even like holds, it just says takedown. So that is kind of a quick run through of the Ultimate Warrior versus Mr. Perfect. Mom Bradley WWF card game. I would love this game as a kid, probably. I don't mind it now. Um, it's just a numbers game with some gotcha cards. And it gives you a reference card, which is nice. And the tag is an okay concept. 